Hi there everybody, it's Kendra here, welcome back. So today I'm going to be working on this sweater yet again. Now if you've been here before, you may recall, and if not you could go back and watch me dye the yarn and then in a second video I kind of showed the process of knitting this sweater. I guess the details would be the yarn is Knit Picks Will of the Andes and the pattern is the Autumn League Pullover and in that video I pointed out how I wasn't very happy with this neckline and at that time I just decided I'm gonna leave it and see how I feel. So that was a few weeks ago I've been wearing, wearing this sweater most days just for like a little bit in the mornings or whatever um, and it's only I think gotten worse so today I'm going to take you along as I take off this neckband and try to fix it. You can see it's gapey and as I've worn it it just feels like it flops over. It's just way way too big. Now I think I, my biggest issue here is that I picked up too many stitches. I did go down I believe it was at two maybe even three needle sizes because I knew that was an issue but I also didn't want to pick up too few and then have holes along that line. Um, anyway, so I'm going to rip it out and see what I can do better. I've already woven in all my ends and you can see it seemed pretty well I would say. Um, so I am going to just find a spot and I guess just, oh here maybe here's an end. Clip the stitch and see what I can get undone. So we're unseamed and next step will be to rip this all out. So ribbing has been removed. Now's the real test of what I should do. I have been waffling on whether I should do the folded neckline again or whether I should just do a simple rib, like the maybe the same as is on the hem. To me, the benefit of the folded is that I like the look when it's done properly. I like that it's just, it looks a little more seamless, maybe a little more, a little less like handmade, I don't know. But the other downside I would say is just the bulk. One thing I kind of was thinking about is that I did use the worsted weight and the pattern does call for DK and maybe that just added a little too much thickness to it. So I might just go ahead and do a regular rib around the neck. So I think what I'm saying is I decided to do the ribbing. <laughs> if you can't tell, decision making is not my strongest quality. I also think I'm going to go down to a three, which is quite small, but I want it to lay flat and I feel like it's really open and that was like a worry before I even knit the last neckband was that it was going to be too, too wide and open and gaping. So let's see what happens with the three and I'm just going to be better about trying it on and being picky about what I like before weaving it all the ends. I tried to pick up two stitches for every three as I went so I'm trying to space them out a little more more like every other stitch I'm also a little bit worried I don't want it to gather by having such a small needle and so few stitches so that's just something I'm gonna try to keep an eye on as I go Just got back to the beginning and I'm going to start with the knit one pearl one basic rib around the neck. I mean it's so hard to tell until it's knit what how it's going to lay um, so I'm just gonna get started and then once I get maybe an inch or two I will try it on. So I barely got that on and I think I'm losing stitches but here's where I'm at. It's very small so far which is intentional as much as I want to make it really wide to see if I can bring this in a little bit I'm also worried about making it too floppy again. I think seeing it though, I do want to add at least a little bit, maybe twice this, and then I'm just gonna bind off. Crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. So 
so I finished binding off. I am going to leave this bit attached. I just want to make sure it is how I like it before I cut it up because I would want to use the yarn again. So far, I think it is laying flatter, but the final test. Let's see how it looks when it's on. I think we have a winner. I can't believe how much better this looks. I think we seem to be laying flat. It is short like a maybe about an inch of ribbing rather than a few, which I had done before. Laying flat is more important than having that extra length, I think. Overall, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to detach the yarn and I'm actually gonna block it just because especially with this kinky yarn like this, um, it's going to change the way that it lays. So I'm just gonna give it a quick wash, lay it flat to dry, and I will be back probably tomorrow by the time this is dry to show you the final look. So it's now the next day, my blocking has dried and I'm really, really happy with the result. You can see I went with the one by one rib and it is laying so nice and flat. I think it's just perfect. Even the width I'm not worried about. This is, I don't know, I guess a fairly tight neck shirt underneath and it's got a little bit of room, but it's really manageable. I think it'll work with a lot of shirts underneath, which is really my big concern. And yeah, I'm really glad I put in the effort <laughs> to update it. I know a lot of you did recommend doing so on my last video and I really appreciate all the suggestions and ideas that you gave. And I think by filming it, it gave me the extra motivation. I don't know if any of you are like this, but for me, I'm really excited to work on a project. I love the process, but then by the time I'm done, especially when I weave in the ends, I want to be done. So let me know if you like this video or if you want to see me do a little bit of sweater surgery on some of the other ones that need a little bit of pick me up, I guess. I'm thinking especially of the Ingle sweater. If you watched my try on video, it had a few issues. I really should go back and um, try to fix some of those things to make it more wearable. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye.